Hey what's up everyone, it is BrickLover18 and in today's video I'm going to be doing an unboxing of these three Lego Pick-A-Brick Cups. I picked up these cups during my recent trip to New York City at the Lego store in the Flatiron District. This was one of the best Pick-A-Brick walls I've seen at a Lego store in a really long time, since well before COVID. So I'm super excited to have these three cups here today and I cannot wait to open them up and show you exactly what's inside. Let's get right to it. All right, so let's take a look at the pick brick cups here. Really excited to show you some of the different parts that are included in these ones, because like I said, it was absolutely incredible. All right, so let's do this pick brick cup first. This one, I would say, is probably the most boring one of all the ones I got, but still really exciting. This one is actually all just one part, and it is the one by two by two window panels. So the Lego store employee was so kind uh, to tape this up for me, which is really, really awesome. But here you go. I'm actually probably just not going to dump this one out because uh, it's all like the same part and I just don't want to do that and waste dumping it out. But as you can see here, it, this is what the panel piece does indeed look like. Very, very cool, which I do like this. It looks pretty, pretty awesome, pretty sweet. So I, I'm very happy to have an entire pick of a cup full of these. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I'll probably make some kind of building or something like that. But that's why I wanted to get a whole, just one entire cup full of it because I wanted it to be pretty flexible. So I'm just going to set that off to the side and not actually dump it out. This next one here is slightly more exciting, but not the most exciting one of all the pick of cups I got. All right. And here you can see there are some of the parts here, but I'm actually going to dump it out so you can get a bit of a better look. So I guess I only got three or so parts included in this one. I did think I actually got a little more, but that's okay. Here the biggest thing are these two by two tiles. I got two by two tiles in white, which I have not seen two by two tiles in white on the pick brick wall in such a long time. As you can see, that is pretty epic here. Absolutely love that. Very, very awesome. I also got the 2x2 tiles in the dark tan, which you know, I every time I see 2x2 tiles in dark tans, I'm getting a bunch. I only got half a cup this time because I wanted to focus on the 2x2 white tiles because I haven't seen them on the pick brick wall in maybe like since forever. I don't know. So I got a ton of the white ones here, a few of the uh, tan ones. And then of course I got some of these olive green stems, which are really cool. So I thought they were really neat um, just because these ones, these parts haven't been available. They're not like as readily available. I've got a bunch in the regular greens, I think, um, but not in the olive color. So because I saw them on the wall, I'm like, hey, I might as well fill that up kind of towards the top of the wall, but uh, on top of the cup actually. But just as a recap, here are the three parts I did get with these pick brick cups. I'm really excited because you don't really get to see any of the three of these parts on pick brick walls very often. So super excited to get those here and I will definitely use those for some future builds. And now let's get into the very last pick brick cup uh, that I'll be showing you in this video. So this one here is definitely the most exciting pick a brick cup because it has got a large variety of parts in it, unlike the other one with just one part and then the next one with three. This one has many, many more. So I'm going to dump it out here and kind of just show you some of the things that are included. Oops, some of them flew off the cup here, the tray, but that's okay. I'll just dump them back on. One of the first things I included were some of these 1x4x3 bricks. These are in this really cool new like highlighter color. I've never really seen these before. Really, really awesome. Absolutely love this color. As you can see, they did also have some in actually 1x6 bricks. So I stacked a bunch of the 1x6 bricks together just to get a few more in. But I, I just love this color. It's It doesn't even do its justice on camera because it looks so bright. But in real life, it looks like I just put a highlighter on Lego bricks. It's such a different yellow. I'll have to do like a color comparison or something like that. So here on the Lego store, they had the 1x4x3s. And then they also had the 1x6s. Uh, so I grabbed a, just a handful of the 1x4x3s because I have absolutely no idea what I'm going to do with them. And then same with the 1x6s. I just stacked a bunch of them together just to fit them in the cup because the color is so cool. I wanted to include some of them. So in addition to all these 1x6s, I just got a variety of other parts. So it looks like I added a few more of the 1x2x3 panels. Uh, the glass ones just to get them in there because again I'd really like to do something with these maybe make a building or something for my city or something like that really like those just looks like I got a handful here honestly not too many 
The next one here are these one by one, uh, I don't know what you call these pieces, they're like round bricks, arches, whatever they may be. Really, really cool. Again, use these in detailings and stuff like that for buildings. I thought I'd pick them up just because they were very small and they easily fit uh, in the thicker brick cups and the small crevices. Also picked up these one by one panel pieces. This is like the corner panel. Uh, again, use these for cool buildings and stuff like that and just thought they would be overall like great additions to the pick and cup to get uh, the piece gun up there. Grabbed a few more of these, uh, grabbed a few more of these olive leaves. Really, really cool. Love those as well. They also had some chairs at the pick brick wall, which is really, really cool. I've got a lot of brown ones from previous times I've been on the pick brick wall, but I've never actually got the dark bluish gray ones, so I thought I'd include those and kind of fill up my chair collection. And then really the last but not least, the piece that I'm really excited about is actually these window panels. So these are, I believe one by fours, one by fours curved uh, window panels. So these hold the regular glass that I've got honestly so many of um, here in my leg room. I, I don't think I have as many as I thought I once did, but I definitely have a few, but I just really like these because they're glass and I figure or because they're rounded. You know, when you put a few of those together, you can get you know, around a tower or something like that. And I just thought they would be really cool for some kind of building, especially if I'm buying a bunch of the one by two by two panels. I thought, hey, these ones might make a nice addition. And unfortunately they didn't have any glass for them, but that's totally okay. I would just picked up a handful of them here because I didn't know what I'd use them for. I didn't want to get just a couple and then have not enough. And I didn't want to get too many and have a whole cup full because your whole building's not going to be rounded, just a few parts of it. So overall, these are kind of the parts that I got in this pick a brick cup. In addition to all the other parts you saw, you'll see when I do the tour of the Flatiron District Lego store, this was one of the best pick a brick walls I've seen in a really long time. Honestly, the Fifth Avenue store did not even come close to comparing, although they well, they did have some of the same parts. Overall, they were just so vastly different. And yeah, the, the one at Fifth Avenue was just a weird. You'll see it when I do the tour. You'll understand what I mean. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for checking out my pick a brick cup unboxing from three pick a brick cups from the Lego store, the Flatiron one in New York City. Incredible parts on the wall, and I don't know what I'm going to do with any of these, but I'm just so excited to sort these out and actually get building with them because with such cool parts, I know there's some cool things coming. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy, please don't forget to leave a like, comment, and of course, subscribe. Stay tuned for future LEGO videos, and I'm looking forward to seeing you here in the next one. Alright guys, thanks again for watching, and we'll see you soon.